what is it, what is it, what is it about cocaine that makes it addictive, which I think other local anaesthetics tend not to be? Um, if I were a chemist, I can very readily tell you. Essentially, uh, my understanding is that the, it has, the, the molecule has two ends. You need one end particularly designed to sit into the lining of a nerve. That The lining of a nerve is made of fat. And you need a fat-soluble end, and that's the end which is the local anaesthetic. The other slightly bulky end with a six-membered ring is the stuff that works on your brain. Now, I mentioned during the lecture Richard Wilstatter, the beautiful beard, who, developed the, who, who, looked, who discovered the three-dimensional structure. He was actually also the man who was able to separate the psychogenic end, the, 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 the bit that gives you the fun, from the bit that gives you the local anaesthetic, much to the dismay, I'm sure, of many people in his invention of the very first synthetic local anaesthetic, which was called procaine. And he separated off those two and was able to make a local anaesthetic that didn't make you feel good or make your nose go completely vasoconstricted. And if that was too short-acting to be of any real use, and very, very soon after that, uh, lignocaine or lidocaine was developed, and, and that was within about 30 years of, of cocaine being used. And that drug, lignocaine or lidocaine, almost certainly everybody in this audience has been given if you've ever come into contact with a doctor giving you an anaesthetic or sewing up a cut. It's still in use. So I'm afraid, yes, it's the other end of the molecule that very quickly they took off and threw away. <laughs>